Are your pearls real or fake? In the world of jewelry and gems, pearls are classic and timeless, but with so many imitations out there, it's important to know what you've got. Natural pearls form when an irritant, such as a grain of sand, finds its way into a mollusk like an oyster or clam, prompting it to protect itself by secreting layers of nacre, resulting in the creation of a pearl. Cultured pearls, which represent the majority of pearls on the market, are born from a similar process. Humans simply get the process started. On the flip side, imitation pearls are crafted from materials like glass or plastic, then coated to mimic the pearl's iconic sheen. With modern technology, imitation pearls can look remarkably similar to the real thing. Alternatives to real pearls aren't necessarily a bad thing. If you're browsing pearls in a department store, you could come across Majorica pearls. These are man-made glass pearls from Mallorca, Spain. They're designed to resist damage from sweat, perfume, detergents, and other chemicals that could harm real pearls. Plus, they offer that luxurious pearl appearance at a lower cost. So let's put our pearls to the test. The tooth test is a simple and effective method to check for authenticity. By gently rubbing the pearl against your teeth, real pearls will give a slightly gritty texture, similar to fine sandpaper. Imitation pearls, however, will feel smooth and glass-like. Give your pearls a gentle toss in your hand. If they feel too light, there's a chance they're plastic. Authentic pearls carry weight, similar to holding a handful of small rocks or pebbles. Keep in mind, though, that glass pearls can also be heavy enough to seem real in this test. Check out these three bracelets. One is real pearl, one is a plastic imitation, and one is glass. Which one do you think is which? You may be surprised to find out that these are the real ones and these are the glass imitations. So, to be sure, you'll want to combine this with other methods to make sure your assessment is accurate. Pearls are also really dense, so they sink quickly in water. Look at the difference between these imitation pearls and the real deal. If you do this test, remember to use distilled water to protect your pearls from minerals that may transfer from tap water. Pearls are often drilled with small holes for stringing them together. Take a close look at these holes. Any signs of peeling, flaking, or chipped paint? How about dyes or coating around the holes? These are indicators of fake pearls. Authentic pearls will have clean, clear drill holes without any of these issues. These pearls show signs of chipping around the hole, as the real pearls have perfectly drilled holes. Speaking of the string, keep an eye out for knots around the pearls. Real pearls are held in place with knots to prevent damage and scraping. Don't be fooled though, there are many imitations nowadays that utilize knots as well. Next, hold the pearls in your hand to feel their temperature. Genuine pearls start off cool and then gradually warm up to your body heat. Fake ones will feel like they're at room temperature right away. Remember, glass pearls might also feel cool initially, so it's smart to use this test along with others to really confirm if they're real or not. Real pearls have imperfections. Check out your pearls under a magnifying glass for tiny flaws like bumps, ridges, or blemishes. Surprisingly, these imperfections are actually a good thing. True pearls are seldom flawless because they're natural creations. This natural diversity is a charm not found in the uniformity of fake pearls. So, when examining pearls, look for these subtle yet beautiful differences. Similarly, real pearls aren't all the same shape, size, or color. You'll notice slight differences in each pearl, which isn't the case with fakes that look too perfect and identical. Also, keep an eye on the color. Imitation pearls have a consistent color throughout, whereas genuine pearls show slight variations in tone from one to another. Finally, real pearls are reflective. Real pearls will shine and reflect when you hold them up to natural light, indicating they're likely genuine. Fake pearls, on the other hand, tend to have a dull or matte finish and won't catch the light the same way. 
If you're unsure about your pearl's authenticity, it's a good idea to have them checked by a jeweler or a gemologist. They have all the right tools to tell if your pearls are real or not. And if your pearls are valuable, consider getting a certification of authenticity for extra assurance. Protecting the beauty and value of your pearls is crucial, whether they're an heirloom or a recent addition to your collection. And that's where Jewelers Mutual comes in. With a policy from Jewelers Mutual, you can rest easy knowing your pearls are protected against loss, theft, damage, natural disasters, worldwide travel, and even disappearances. It's quick and easy to get started. Just click the link below to check your rate in as little as 30 seconds.